I know it's always tempting for us gardeners to show you the best of everything we're growing, the healthy looking plants and how everything's doing really well. But of course, the reality is that it's not always like that. And however much experience you have as a gardener, there are always going to be some things that work really well and some things that work less well. And uh, I've had a bit of a challenging time here the last few weeks, partly because the weather has got a lot warmer today. So I'm hoping that's going to make a big difference, but it's been very cold for the time of year for the last few weeks. And also there's been a lot of bird action around here as well, <laughs> which has been quite a challenge. So rather than showing you everything that's doing really well, I thought today for a change, I'd show you some of the things which are not doing so well and a look at maybe why that is. So first up we have these peas, which are, in some ways they're doing quite well, they're producing some nice uh, peas down there and they look reasonably healthy. <laughs> but if you look closely, uh, I've using these uh, these pea sticks to grow them up which I think look really attractive but I hadn't really thought about one downside of these is these pea sticks provide perfect perching places for sparrows which have been sitting on here and while they sit on here they nibble away at all the, the leaves uh, so all the tips of all the leaves have been quite badly eaten uh, but anyway there we go I, they, at least they're still uh, growing and these are my lettuces, which are uh, luckily doing very well, actually, I think. Uh, but the birds have also been eating these. They sit on the side and they nibble these uh, tops off here. Luckily, they don't seem to be able to get into these inner leaves, so these are still uh, doing quite well. Now, next door, we have some chard planted with some rocket. And the idea of this was that the rocket or regular was going to produce a quick harvest. And I was going to pull it up and then let these child plants grow quite a lot uh, bigger over hopefully a few months. Uh, but a couple of things are happening here. First of all, the chard has been attacked quite badly by a leaf miner. So a leaf miner is a fly which lays its egg on the back of a leaf and hatches out and then burrows, a little sort of maggoty thing, burrows into the leaf. And I do quite often get leaf miner, but normally when the plant's bigger and it's able to withstand it, and I think being attacked when the plants are so small has really had quite a bit bagged impact on them. Uh, I don't know, they, I'll leave them for a bit longer and see if they recover, but I'm not actually um, that hopeful about it. I think the cold weather and the leaf miner together have really hit these badly. And, and this rocket, uh, as you can see, has bolted, started to flower very early. Um, it does that at this time of year, so it's the middle of June, and in lengthening days, rocket does go to seed quickly. But it has gone to seed particularly quickly this year. These are very small plants, and again, I think it's a combination of the lengthening days and the cold weather. But anyway, not to worry, I'll just, they'll still be edible, so I'll eat those soon, and probably, assuming the child doesn't work, plant something else in here. And here we have some French beans, which actually until the last couple of days of warmer weather were looking very sad. Uh, they just had these like yellow, the leaves were like mostly yellow. And I think that's often, um, well sometimes the yellow leaves is a sign that there aren't enough nutrients, but not enough nitrogen in the soil. But uh, you can also see these symptoms in cold weather. And sometimes plants like um, French beans, I think can't get enough nitrogen out of the soil when it's cold uh, but hopefully uh, when it warms up look you can see these are some of the birds which are causing me trouble <laughs> um, when it as it's now it's got a bit warmer they do seem to be growing a bit more healthily so I'm really hoping that these have turned a corner now uh, and will be doing uh, much better and actually this tomato though doesn't seem to have minded the cold that's done really well surprisingly well actually uh, and this cucumber a sort of similar situation here you can see the, the lower leaves are yellow this was growth when it was cold looks really sad and unhappy but as we follow it up here I mean you know it's not looking great but it is looking a fair bit better whereas the kale next door is pretty hardy to cold weather and is doing fine and likewise over here we have another courgette or zucchini and this was sitting here for weeks not really doing very much but the last few days slightly warmer weather and it's amazing what difference a bit of warmth can make
and then here we have summer purslane this metal bar on the top is to try and dissuade i had birds uh digging this up here uh, so this metal uh bar is to try and deter them from doing that and uh in this in this container here we have summer purslane now i planted this um like in early May because it's a plant which does like the warm weather but because it was really cold uh, it hasn't been uh, very happy at all. I'm hoping that it might come back and do okay when the weather warms up but sometimes if plants get off to a bad start uh, they sort of stall and don't really recover so I'll give that a few more days and see if it turns around otherwise I have actually sown some more that I can plant out. And here are some lettuces that have been really bald by the uh, sparrows. You can see the edges here. Look, they've just been sitting on the edge and having a right old peck away at these. I mean, underneath, they look quite healthy, don't they? So I'm hoping that if I protect these somehow, that they might actually uh, come back. But they really have, the sparrows, I think it is, have really had a very good go at these. So that's just some examples of things which are not growing so well at the moment. Um, I'm hoping some of them will recover, um, but maybe they all won't. We'll wait and see. Anyway, next week I'll be back and I'll show you some of the things, uh, fingers crossed, that are doing, are doing well in the garden at the moment.